We just said that the energy of an object at rest can equal its mass. However, aren't energy and mass completely different things? They don't even have the same units of measurement. Mass is measured in kilograms, while energy is measured in joules. It turns out that mass and energy can indeed be measured using the same units. The reason why we use different units, kilograms and joules, for mass and energy respectively, is due to historical reasons, when people didn't know there was a connection between mass and energy. There's a deeper connection between the two that is woven in the fabric of space-time itself that makes this possible. Space and time are components of one four-dimensional medium called space-time and the dimensions of space and time can also be measured using the same units. For example, we naturally measure space in units of meters. It is only for historical reasons and convenience that human beings have measured time in seconds. However, time can also be measured in units of meters. Units of seconds can be converted into their equivalent units of meters simply by multiplying the time by c, the constant of the speed of light. The speed of light turns out to be nothing more than a conversion factor to change seconds into meters for a more natural comparison between the dimensions of space and time. So how does measuring space and time in the same units relate back to measuring mass and energy in the same units? Take for example the formula for kinetic energy, or the energy of motion of a moving object. The classical formula is energy equals one half times mass times the velocity squared. This has units of kilograms meters squared per second squared, or just joules. The velocity term v is classically measured in meters per second. However, instead of using seconds, we can use meters, which then makes the units of velocity equal to meters per meter, or unitless. Then the units for kinetic energy simplify to kilograms, which is just mass. This is also true for momentum, which is classically defined as mass times velocity, which again results in having units of kilograms. One important thing to note here is that despite mass, energy, and momentum all having the same units of measurement, they're not the same thing. However, they can be compared together on an equal footing to show their relationship. Similarly, space and time are not exactly the same thing, but we can compare space and time together as component dimensions in space-time. 